So if you're just tuning in, this is the Citadel. It's a survival Minecraft server where I, where I do uh, geeky stuff with my friends. My name is Joel Duggan, and you are looking at our gold farm. And I've done a little bit of work since the last time we were here. And this is how the entrance is looking so far. It's a, li it's a little bit experimental. I'm not entirely sure I like it, but it's doing the trick for now. Eventually, we want to have a small wall that goes around the whole thing and keeps out the zombie pigmen. The decision I'm trying to make is that if that whole wall is going to be glass, I don't think it will be because I think that's just asking for gassed problems left, right, and center. But the last time we were here, we built this road and it looks at the gold farm. And if you travel up this way, then you sort of get the gold farm in your in your view. Uh, I don't know if this is necessarily going to stay right here. I feel like I want to take this road closer to the edge. I feel like having this straight stair it might be better to move it. So we haven't really adjusted that too much. One thing I do know is not changing is this platform in terms of its location. The platform is gonna stay right where it is. And the reason why that is important is because we moved the stairs. So what we want to achieve today is have these stairs go straight down into the lava without this little glass bridge. I want uh, a larger circle, a larger hole, uh, and, and a descent straight into the lava from here. I don't know if these are going to be quartz stairs. I may switch them, but that's that's the plane idea here. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, there is a way down there uh, this way now. So we've got some wiggle room, but most of the content that we need is going to be in here. Grab some glass. Gonna need lots of sand. That's a thing. You're absolutely gonna need lots of sand. I'm surprised I didn't knock that uh, didn't knock that that die off. And what else we need down there? I guess we'll need some some cobble stairs. I should put my gas tier away just in case I lose it. So the plan is to remove uh, this here and get everything down to the lava level. And the good news is that some of this is already dug out. Like we've already got the, um, I guess the outs outside of it there. But we, we know that the stairs are gonna come down in this position. So we can actually probably remove this and put a stair there. So this is the direction they're going to go. Now, obviously, we're losing this glass, some of it. So that is where we're going to go down. And so that is where I want the these three stairs here represent these three stairs here. I don't think I like the fact that this is such a small circle. It's only nine wide. I feel like an 11 wide circle or maybe even something larger would be better, you know, like something just a little circle like this just not doesn't feel grand enough for this design uh, so really what I think we're going to be doing is is opening it up uh, Astro Jake wants to know if we can use pistons to push everything back uh, no we're going to be moving this uh, uh, towards us as well so it's unfortunately not going to be uh, it's just going to be easier to just uh, completely redo it from from the start uh, so I think what we'll do because this lava lake is like, it's got to be 12 deep. Like it's, oh, maybe not 12. It's, it's easily, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably about eight. It's about eight blocks deep in some cases, um, at least right here. It might be less as we get closer to the shore, um, but I want to, I want to try and figure out, so I, um, figure out like the, the size of the circle, I think is going to be our first step. I think uh, here is some cobblestone. So let's just say if these three are that beginning part, then something that looks like this, one, two, and then I guess maybe three. Oh, you know what? I just thought about something. 
just thought about something. Let's take these off. And uh, not that box. I want this one. Put that away. Bring this over here. We'll grab a couple of these. And we'll switch over to the chest plate. The chest plate is cool and would suck if it goes, but it would not be the end, not be the end of the world. Glad I thought about that. Do, 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 do. Okay. So what did I say? So one, two, three, then one, two, and then I guess we could try three here. And then this would be replaced with that. And then there. So we're just going to try and draw out this circle in space to see if it's big enough. I don't know if it will be. There. And then here. Like that. And then here we have to come out another block. So I guess technically we could get rid of those, but for the sake of seeing it, fill those in. Hmm. Kind of wondering. I see what I did differently. These are actually in line with the angle, so they don't represent the bottom of the circle, they represent one step in. I see, I see. So we will do this. Oh, did I run out of cobble? I ran out of cobble. That's right, we'll grab some more. Uh, cobblestone, yes. Sounds like a Cessna went by. Uh, that is because I live near a main road. It is a beautiful day. In terms of temperature, it's still kind of overcast, but it's nice out, so I've got my window open. That's just the way things are when it's been winter for so long and you want some fresh air. So apologies if you can hear some vehicles go by. Think of it as just authenticity. It just feels like you're here with me, right? Right, so how does that look for the size of a circle to walk through? I'd say that's minimum. I'd say that's probably the minimum that we would want. Considering the size of this platform, because this is what? Nine, two, three. Yeah. So this is nine. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Totally missed him. What happened there? He is really far away now. Did that hit him? What happened? Got him. There's a flaming arrow through the lava. Yes, it's nice to have some warm weather. I agree, Paranor. I agree, I agree. So I said this was... 11 wide, right? So one, two, three, four. No, it's nine. So this is actually, why does this feel so, I guess it's because this is a square and that's a circle. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna go wider. I think I wanna do, so this is currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll go up to 11, which I think technically, would be 
So it would be like one, two, three, four, five. So that would be the middle. Right? Because I said that the steps were one one inside. The the edge of the circle is here. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. Okay. So let's just grab this. So did I not equip it? Oh, I didn't equip it. There you go. It's equipped. Happy? Okay. Oh, one, two, three. And so I guess technically that's correct. Two, and we just need to go one, two, three, four. So this is going to go out by one. So it's five, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then two on an angle. And then one, two, three, four, five. So actually that will help because we'll be able to keep some of this, right? Some of this will actually be able to stay. Just watching this is making me tense up, says we'll run for fun. Yeah, I, I guess I'm used to it by now. I've been doing this work in the nether for a while. But I know what you mean though. I was smart and I grabbed I grabbed some uh, some fire resist potions. So I think that's the whole thing, minus that. And I think this will look okay. I don't know how to make the circle more round. You have to go up to like 15 before you can get what looks to be like a proper round circle. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think the thing to do is going to be to um, replace some of this with some pink glass. We might end up losing some glass, but I think it'll give us a clear, clear look at what's going on. We might get some of this, this cobble back, but most of it's just going to disappear. Sorry, we got lots of sand, lots of glass. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. So there. And replace this again, even though we, I know we just did that. And we can actually take this out. have to fill that in because that was the ceiling. There are some tricky parts to this. It's going to be interesting to get it all sorted in the end. And let's get rid of you and you as well as I guess we have to replace this. Glass will give a clear look. Yeah, here I'll show you actually. Um, if I go down here once, once I get the circle built, we'll go down to the bottom and you'll see the look that I'm going for. You'll see what I'm what I'm trying to do. We'll run for fun. I am attempting my first slime farm and had to deal with some lava. Yeah. I had to deal with some lava in my slime farm too. I've got a I've got a quad chunk slime farm. It's it's a monster. It's crazy how good it is. Um, so that's the basic, that's the basic look of it. I feel like the side, it feels like an octagon, not a circle. It's my only complaint. What if we brought in the sides here so that they were still only three? Like what if we did this, this, like that, and then remove this and that. So it goes three, two, and then three, two. 
that look okay? And then we get rid of this. It's not my favorite kind of circle, but it might look it might look okay in this particular situation. Hmm, that makes it look more like an oval, doesn't it? Yeah, I think we just go with the straight edges. There's not much we can do about it at this scale. Tis what it is. Uh, so now, if I remove these, I should still be able to get down here. Right? This is not going to have lava rain down on me. No, okay. So this is the look we're going for. This is what we're going to do. We're going to have this look all the way. Because this is how you get into the gold farm, is you have to go in underneath. There's no way across the lava you have to go underneath it. Uh, and that that took a really long time, which is why I'm incorporating it into the new the new build that we're doing up here. So here, the next step is going to be to put sand outside of all of this. I think that's what I did. Like if I look down here, it's always going to, even if it's a full source block of lava, it's going to look like it's flowing down. So I'm pretty sure what I did was I put the glass circle in the way that I wanted it to be in there. So we'll have to do to do the full glass circle. Now that we know the right size, we can do that no problem. So that's five, two at an angle, five, two at an angle. So we'll get rid of these two. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is the one we have to fix. So five. And then, whoa. Interesting. I forgot that that hole was here. That's right. I'm sure that won't be the first time we do that. Uh, what, did I, what, what was I doing? Where was I going? What was I saying? One, two, three, four, five. And then two in an angle. And then we have to do this like that. So we'll have to put in sand both inside and outside. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, that. These are not where I wanted to place those. Okay, so fill in the holes because that would be bad. Right, okay. So the next step is going to be to fill in this thing with sand around the outside. And we can get the sand back later. So it's only eight deep, that's not so bad. I've been tearing through these projects here on the Citadel. I've got a number of things that are uh, unfinished and I wanna, I wanna wrap them up so I can give myself the permission to move on to other projects and expand the the way that we want to move forward with the citadel is to create a world portal where we can transport ourselves to other zones and those zones are going to have themes so right now it's kind of like build whatever you want um make it look good mind your neighbors that sort of stuff but what i want to have eventually is like a, a medieval zone and uh, a couple of people uh, Megan and Cosmic Dancer wanted uh, uh, an Asia Pacific zone sort of idea. And uh, what was the other zone? I think MacCast wanted um, steampunk. I want a sci-fi world. Uh, and I also want a modern city. I want to be able to do like skyscrapers and roads and stuff. So this one I want to be careful. I don't want to lose my spot. I want to make sure that this is this is goes back to being glass. I think that might be most of it. Oh no, not even close. So that should be most of the sand in there. I think we maybe have to get rid of some. Oh yeah, right. I forget about all this because that circle only came to here, right? So some of this should be okay. Fell down again. Paranor. I know, I know you get your finger on the button. I know it's there. Yeah, so we are gonna use most of the sand, I think. 
Uh, for anybody that's coming a little bit late, uh, this stair staircase here, um, it, it was, there was a small bridge here. You had to go down and then out and then down again. And what I want to be able to do is the whole time you're coming down the staircase, I want you to be looking down the hole like that. So not only am I moving it, but I'm also making it larger. And I might finally take the time to um, fix some of these flowing lava bits too. I might sort of try to fill those in if I can. And also there's a lot of places down here that need some slabbing. So I, for any time I need a break from what I'm doing, I might I might do some slab stuff and just chat with, with folks. I don't want to do the road again because we just did a stream on that just like the other week. So the road still needs to work. It's not done, but we will get there eventually. <laughs> 